meet uh, Tim Hahn, Drew Max. Mark. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Dogfish Head, as, as a company, we believe in the good karma that comes with focusing around the positive energy that exists when you collaborate, as opposed to sort of the negative energy that comes with businesses continually focusing on competing. The band uh, picked the base beer and they picked a high gravity pale ale to be the base beer. And then we left it up to the community that supports the Grateful Dead and the community that supports dogfish to submit ideas for an ingredient that relates back to the Grateful Dead but would work really well in this, uh, in this pale ale recipe. And we got over 1,500 uh, recipe submissions and today we're here with Thomas and his dad, the winners. Well, from, from kind of looking at the elements of granola, I think that's really where it made sense. He was actually on a motorcycle ride with some of his friends in California when he got the word that he was, he was selected. It's like, wow, that is really so cool. So uh, he said, really would like for you to come along and, and uh, be part of this. I said, I'm there. And the granola that we had it for breakfast, it was delicious. I had no idea if it was going to work as, a, as an ingredient in beer. And after just learning the process, being part of the process, it was great. It's going to work great. Bob Weir, I think, coined the phrase, the Grateful Dead and Deadheads are misfit power. We don't necessarily fit in to the mainstream. And we are everywhere, doctors, dentists, lawyers, just as I'm sure the fans of your beer are. But they're not the people who are going out and drinking the mainstream beer. They're seeking this out because they know how much better it is. They know that independence is always going to be better than mass production of anything. Inside this bottle, your miracle ticket awaits. It's called American Beauty, an imperial pale ale inspired by the Grateful Dead. The best way to capture 30 years, 100 albums, let the loyal fans drive the recipe. Among thousands of suggestions, granola was tops. It was the main course in millions of parking lot meals and it was a sweet and toasty complement to all American hops and barley. There was something different about a dead show. Whether you saw one or a hundred, you felt it, but you knew it wouldn't last forever. If only you could have bottled it. That's awesome. <laughs>